Hey, good morning, guys. Now, this race was called rather quickly last night. Celebrations were held in South Loop for J Governor J.B. Pritzker's re-election, while his opponent, Darren Bailey, thanked his voters in central Illinois, still vowing to support the state. The challenges are many, but I'm going to do what I always have done, what Americans always have done. I'm going to roll up my sleeves, and I'm going to go back to work. That's Darren Bailey. He's back to focusing on being a state senator, conceding to incumbent Governor J.B. Prisker last night. The race was called rather quickly, shortly after polls closed yesterday evening. Bailey secured 43 percent of the vote, 54 percent went to Pritzker. Now, the far-right candidate ran his election, focusing on crime in Chicago, calling the city a crime-ridden hellhole. Bailey strongly supported gun rights, even going as far as mocking Governor Pritzker for not getting a ban on semi-automatic rifles in Illinois, while Democrats held the majority control of the House and Senate, still J.B. Prisker came out on top of yesterday's race after running a campaign that highlighted maintaining a balanced budget for four years. With Prisker staying in office, this could mean the state won't see any changes to abortion rights in the near future. Here's what he had to say to supporters last night. We raised the minimum wage to a livable wage. We guaranteed a woman's right to choose. We balanced the budget, paid all our overdue bills, and got six credit upgrades. And something else to, that we may not see change is the Safety Act that Darren Bailey vowed to repeal if he was to become governor. The Safety Act eliminates cash bail for violent offenders, giving judges the opportunity to keep suspects in jail before trials. Back to you guys in the studio.